Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my isotretinoin series, also known as Accutane for some people. Um, so it is month four. <sighs> I'm in month four. God, it's gone really quick. Um, and it is day 97. So I have uh, quite a while, a while, ugh, words, it's early. I have quite a while to go, um, but I'm going pretty well. So updates on skin here is how it's looking um i still have this guy it's flatter and not as like hard like under the skin so i know it's improving it's just taking a really really exceptionally long time uh, i also have a little spot on my chin and i've got like a few others that are like little sort of bumps that i can feel under the skin um, and I've got this guy over here, which is quite big, but it's flat. So there's that. Um, so not too much is happening. I, okay. Um, it's been pretty warm and I think I'm becoming even like, I'm seeing more how I'm affected by the sun since like I went away for Christmas. I was in Sydney. Uh, it was actually a lot colder than it usually is up in Sydney. Um, for the first few days that we were there, it's like we brought the cold from Melbourne with us, but then it picked up a bit. And um, I noticed like there were a few days where I couldn't avoid being outside. I slathered myself in sunscreen. I stayed, you know, in the shade whenever I could. But um, I noticed after a few days, I started to develop these like sort of bumps on my skin it looked a bit like you know chicken skin uh went before it's been cooked it looked a bit like that sort of like um bumpy lumpy like chicken skin if you don't know what i'm talking about google it raw chicken skin um and i had that all over my shoulders um and it come down i don't know to about here ish um I didn't know what it was. I tried Googling it, but I couldn't really find anything. Um, but since I've been home and I've been avoiding the sun a lot back in my little dark den where I can uh, close my like light blocking um, curtains, uh, it started to go. So it's not, it's not perfect. Also, I did have it on this side of my face and I still got it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's starting to go now. And I think, I think it was almost like a reaction to the sun. Um, and totally like related to the medication. I don't think it's, um, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's something that I've ever had before. I haven't noticed it. Um, and I don't think it's something that's just popped up now. I think I just... Yeah, I think my skin is really fucking sensitive to the sun. Also, yesterday, it was so strange. I went to Chadston with my mum. If you don't know what Chadston is, it's a massive shopping complex. And um, it is an indoor complex, but in some parts, they have, um, like, glass roofs. And I... We went there, and we were there for like six hours or something. Um, we drove there, the drive there is not that long. I was slathered in sunscreen because I knew it was gonna be a hot day and I knew I was gonna be in the car. Um, so I was like, gotta wear the sunscreen. If I know I'm not leaving the house, I don't put sunscreen on. Um, but if I'm leaving the house on a hot day or any day, because I have to, um, because our sun rays are so intense, um, <laughs> I put on sunscreen. So anyway, I put on sunscreen because I'm being a good little Vegemite. And I think I might have got a really mild sunburn. <laughs> oh my god. So my face, I mean my face is red because I've washed it and I've still got scarring. But I feel like my forehead is a bit pink. Um, and like around here, which I feel like is not normal for me. Um, also my chest, I feel like my chest is a bit pink. It was bright red when I got out of the shower last night. And also the tops of my thighs 
which made me think maybe it was in the car. But the strange thing about being in the car is like my left leg is covered by shade. My right leg is usually um, like it has a driver's window sun coming through. So I don't, I don't know. Like it doesn't hurt. It feels hot though. So it makes me think I've got a mild sunburn and it's annoying because I know that, okay, one, sunburn, absolutely terrible, even when you're not on this medication, but sunburn on this medication, really not good for you. So yeah, I'm just, um, that's kind of annoying. It's, it's kind of annoying, but, um, it shows me that I can't shop at Chadston. Um, and it also shows me that it really is a good idea for me to just stay indoors as much as I can. Um, especially if like, I'm not going to have access to shade. So that's that. Um, I'm going to wrap this up and, uh, I'll see you, I don't know, in a split second for me, it'll be a few days. Day 100. So I thought I should check in since it is day 100. Uh, also, if you can hear my, my lisp, I have Invisalign. Some people who don't watch me regularly will watch a video where I have my Invisalign in and they're like, what the fuck happened to your speech? Uh, so it's Invisalign. Um, there's really not too much to report. Uh, this, I don't know, today it hurts. I was washing my face and I was like, ow, why are you painful? It hasn't hurt for a long time. I don't know what's up with that. It kind of scares me a little bit because I'm like, don't come back, please. Like, you've already been around for months. You need to leave. Um, vacate the premises. You're being evicted. But no, it's still there and today it hurts. So there's that. Um, my skin, I talked about how it was rough and weird and not happy it is improving um i just moisturize every day really look after it stay out of the sun and it is getting much better it feels almost completely normal now which is good maybe just a bit dry i haven't moisturized today but that it's usually something i do before bed um so yeah that's pretty much everything that's happening um I just want that to go away. That's it. That's like, that's all. Just go away. Also, this can go away. This is flat though. It's not really doing much. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is day 100. This is what it looks like. Day 103. So when I last checked in, I was like, nothing interesting's happened. Um, and then something interesting happened that day. So I was folding laundry and um, my foot felt itchy, so I scratched my foot. And I thought, mm, that's strange, it kind of hurt. Um, and it was still itchy. I hadn't even looked at my foot at this point, I was just scratching it. And I looked down at it and I'm like, mm, that doesn't look right. <laughs> um, I had, it looked like one of my veins had swollen up and it was um, all sort of red around it. And um, yeah, it was just really, really itchy. I'd scratch it and it'd still be itchy and it kind of hurt if I touched it. Um, anyway, I was sort of like, all right, well, I'm not gonna touch it. Maybe I was bitten by something, but I couldn't see a bite mark. So I just put a cold compress on it and let it be. Um, and then later that night, I looked at it and it had, it was no longer swollen, but it was blue. <laughs> um, and it had sort of like spread down the side of my foot. And I was like, I'm going to have to go to the doctors and get this checked out. So the next day I went to the doctors and she had a look at it. And, you know, she knows that I'm on this medication and she double checked to make sure it wasn't like a, a concerning side effect and while there is a condition that you can get from this medication there were other indicators that I was missing so she was like I just want you to um, you know keep an eye on it if anything like changes or seems not normal 
then definitely um, come back and uh, we can have another look. But essentially now I have what appears to be a giant bruise on my foot for no fucking reason. So there's that. Also, the other night I have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I've got something going on on my lip. Um, I have rainbow lorikeets, in case you didn't know, they're birds. And um, I was having chit chat and playtime with um, one of the birds. And uh, he kept saying, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. And I went to give him a kiss and he bit me. He bit me on my lip, broke the skin. Oh, made me bleed so there's that that's not related to the medication but um if you're wondering what it is there's that so with the thing on my foot um we don't know if it's related to the medication um yeah like don't know don't know but I have it there now so that's that's the thing that I've experience while I'm on this medication and um, yeah I was basically told like it's not anything to be super concerned about um, if it was in like different parts or different areas of my body like where I've got main arteries and stuff like that um, or if they knew that it had been affecting like it was a main artery that was affected that would be a bit of a different story but it appeared to just be a small vein that had a little leakage and uh, the blood has pulled under my skin uh, which makes it look like I have a bruise which is essentially what a bruise is so there's that it's great really fun day 111 uh, okay so I haven't been able to use this room for a while because uh, I've been having some work done on it so I do have some things that have happened while I've been away. Um, <clears throat> the day after my last check-in, I had um, pain in this shoulder. It was a very strange pain because it was sort of like, how do I show you this? It was sort of like in here and like in here, kind of like it was in like the socket of like where my arm sits into my shoulder. Um, it was really, it was different. It was a different pain. I've never had a pain like that before. Uh, well, I've never had a pain in that area before. Like such a specific, like, it feels like it's right in the socket kind of thing. So that was a bit weird. Um, it wasn't very pleasant to be fair. I think, like, I have a, a pretty high pain threshold. I've dealt with migraines since I was like 16. Um, and they've gotten better as I've gotten older. I don't get them as often and I do take medication to like keep them at bay. Um, but I am, or I went through a phase for a very long time where it was not uncommon for me to be in really bad pain. So, uh, I do have a pretty high pain threshold. But there were times with this particular shoulder pain where I was like, mm, that hurts. So yeah, I think that was a, a bit of a bad one. It lasted, uh, it was worse on like the first day and the second day it was sort of residual pain and then it went away. Um, I'll give an update on what happened with my foot that has cleared up beautifully uh, and it only took a couple of days. It wasn't um, like the bruise on my thigh, which <laughs> I still have a slight discoloration from, which has been there for months. So like this guy, this guy and the thigh um, bruise, they're like pigeon pair. They're just hanging around, just hanging around this guy like I at this point I'm like why have you not gotten any smaller why have you not faded why are you still hard under there I it's got to be scar tissue that's all I can think of because yeah it just doesn't make sense that it's still there so um there's that otherwise my symptoms have been uh really good I do feel like they have balanced out massively since I first started taking this medication. Um, 
I don't really get, like, I don't get blood noses unless it's like, sometimes I'll blow my nose and I'm like, oh, okay, my nose is dry today, but that's all right. Um, and of course, you know, like the bruising and stuff like that, but I just need to be more careful. And the aches and pains, I haven't found any rhyme or reason to that. I don't get them as often as I used to, but they still pop up every now and then. I thought maybe I was like over it, but after the other day when I had that shoulder pain, um, I was like, okay, well, I'm not out of the woods, but that's all right. Um, otherwise, skin has been okay. Um, I had a bunch of like little spots come up um, and they've gone. And I actually think it might have been an oil that I was using on my face. And it frustrates me because I've been using that oil for months and I just finished it and I switched to something else. And um, my skin is so soft and it hasn't felt this soft in a really long time. So I'm actually thinking my skin didn't like that oil and I just didn't realize. I think like the medication sort of masked it. So there's that. Um, but otherwise, I think that's everything. I think that's everything for now. Day 120. Today marks the last day of my fourth month on this medication. Eight more months to go. Um, so not too much to report since my last check-in. Um, sorry, i got to do that. Oh, my eyes are dry today. Um, yeah, not too much to report um, except today, of course. I woke up with dry eyes um, and I've had them before and it's pretty easy to deal with. I just use a lot of eye drops and usually passes within like 24 to 48 hours um, and then it's all good. Can you guys hear that wind? There's another storm coming, I betcha. My car got caught in the hailstorm in Melbourne um, on mm, Sunday. It's got pretty bad hail damage, so... Fuck off, weather. Just fuck right off. Uh, so anyway, dry eyes today. Um, and when I, I had to go and run errands, like do grocery shopping, and when I went outside, I realized that it wasn't just dry eyes. Um, I'm really light sensitive today, um, which is why I'm squinting so much. I'm sorry. I've got a big like ring light behind the camera, and then I've got um, lights on a mirror. Uh, and if I don't have them on, then the camera doesn't have enough light to actually film um, with decent quality. So I have to have them on. But we'll get through this quick and then I can turn the lights off. Um, so dry eyes today and very light sensitive. Um, I just, yeah, combat it with um, eye drops. I try to, you know, stay out of bright lights if I can avoid it. Um, but if I have to go outside or something like that, I just wear it sunglasses and I've got really good quality sunglasses so that's pretty much how I deal with that. Um, my skin in the last few days has been uh, drier, drier, um, especially in like my forehead area and sort of around here around my temples. Um, also my lips when I woke up this morning, super dry, very unusual for me because um, I'm really, really diligent about um, like having something on my lips to keep them moisturized. Like it's the last thing I do before I lay down to go to sleep. It's the first thing I do in the morning and I have something on my lips all day long. My lips um, have been one of the easiest things for me to manage, to be quite honest, because... I know exactly how to deal with it. Just use a lot of lip balm and be really diligent with it. So when I woke up this morning and they were really dry, I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, lip balm, um, my secret weapon also is just like clear lip gloss uh, because there's a lot in there that your lips can like absorb and it helps to like soften up the, the dry skin so you can um, safely remove it from your lips but I still have like I can see I've got a little spot on my lip of dry skin um, that's not quite ready to come off and I try not to force it like it 
I sometimes I feel self-conscious in public if my like this morning I did because I knew my lips were dry and every time I like rub my lips together I could feel that there was some like loose skin but also it wasn't skin that was willing to come off my lips easily um, and I don't want to peel it off because I don't want to tear my lip um, so yeah that's gross and it, it's kind of embarrassing when you're out in public but also uh, I feel like it would be more embarrassing to pull the skin off and then have a bleeding lip so you know it's double-edged sword um so anyway I I think I'm just particularly dry at the moment and I think it's sort of been building because my skin has been dry um and then today I'm like dry um something else that I just want to complain about because I feel like if you're watching this series you probably have a little bit of like empathy and you might even be someone who's been in my position and you might understand where I'm coming from um like I said, everything's dry. Body is dry. Uh, it's summer here in Australia. If I go outside, I have to wear sunscreen. Um, and when I put sunscreen on, I like typically here in Australia, a lot of them are really greasy. Um, you can get like just a standard ones, which are pretty greasy and disgusting. Um, and you can get hydrating ones, which are also pretty greasy and disgusting. They're the ones that I pretty much have to use because my body is dry. Um, I did try, uh, I had a little sample of like one of those dry touch sort of matte finish ones that doesn't leave your skin greasy. Um, and my God, like my skin was so itchy and so dry all day. I was like, I'm never making that mistake again. Like I don't want to be out in public like scratching myself because I'm itchy and dry. It's embarrassing. Um, so I've stuck to the standard ones or the moisturizing ones and because I have long hair it like grazes against my skin and it's so stringy and gross at the ends but the roots never get greasy. <laughs> I just feel like I can't win with my hair and I know people will be like put it up in a bun or something like that but I don't have much hair and it just looks kind of dumb and limp and I know Madeline if you're watching this you'll be like go get those extensions get those volume extensions oh I just I don't want to look after them also I can't really afford them so you know I just my hair is so annoying. I feel like I, I work something out with my hair and then I face another issue with my hair. Um, but it's all stupid first world problems anyway. So, you know, once winter comes, it won't be a problem. I won't have to worry about slathering my whole body in fucking six cups of sunscreen every day. Oh, look, there we go. There's some skin ready to come off are you yep so disgusting all right guys i'm gonna wrap this up i'm so sorry you had to witness that but <laughs> that's the reality of this medication and i'm only on a low dose so i count myself extremely lucky um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll be back in a month with uh, my next installment. Month five. Oh my god. That's that's exciting. I'm like getting, I'm getting close to halfway, which is, it's good. I really hope this, like when is this going to go? I can't focus on that. I can't. Don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it, and it might go away. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.